before we dive in. Annie, would you like to do some roll call? Sure. Um, online, I have Carrie Powers, Alicia Beckholz, uh, Amy Bristow, Eric Dixon, Jason Emery, Kyla Leonard, Melissa Fisher, Cindy Kennedy, Violet Plummer, and MCAT. In 206, we have um, Commissioner Stro thank you, Commissioner <laughs> Strohmeyer and Slotnick. Uh, John Hart, and Hughes, Allison France, myself, Annie Kathy, and Martin Kingston. Thanks, Annie. Thank you. Do we have any public comment on items not on the agenda? All right, and uh, it's, it appears we have no consent agenda, so we're going to jump right to action items, and Cindy Kennedy will do that first. Good morning, everyone. Can you all hear me? That's all right. Can you hear me? Good. Okay. Um, I am requesting that the board approve an amended loan agreement between Missoula County and a resident of the Elmar RFID for water line repairs. Um, and this is authorized by resolution 2022-081. And this is a deferred loan for just shy of $6,480 on the cover cost of water line repairs that were done at this residence. Are there any questions? What's the term of repayment? So it's deferred, which means that the loan does not come due unless the um, property changes hands or the use of the property changes in terms of the owners no longer using it as their primary residence. Um, some folks do choose to make monthly payments or whenever they can type of payments. Um, there's a 1% simple interest that's added on an annual basis. Uh, so, um, yeah, it's just, it's really not, not paid off until something changes with the property. Wow. So residents don't make any payments until they sell the property or unless they choose to. So this Correct. doesn't have much of an impact on folks. Correct. Yeah. And there's a lien um, uh, on the property that gets recorded so that it would show up, you know, with any kind of transfer or any kind of title search or whatever. Um, the only challenge is if folks don't live there anymore and they're rent renting it to their kids or something, um, we're, they're kind of on the honor system. So that's, that would be a change in use. And so I send out annual letters just reminding people of that. And reminded them of what their um, the amortization schedule, so that they can kind of track how their loan is growing, and just so that they don't lose sight of it. Is there a limit to the number of folks who could avail themselves of this loan opportunity? Um, only as far as the funding. So this latest resolution um, added twenty thousand dollars to the fund, which you know with these. These um, $6,400 projects, that's not going to last very long. Um, so until we have, until we don't have funding, that's, you know, it's, there's no limit. Um, like I said, I do have a couple of households that are paying on their loan. Um, and so that fund is getting slowly replenished. Um, but that's really the only limitation. Once we run out of funding, we won't be able to support these loans anymore. It's a great way to do it that the money comes back after they sell their place. Um, they're not, but they don't have added debt burden right now. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, this is only for low to moderate income and sure. households. And we do have an application process that they have to, they have to provide some documentation of their income to demonstrate that they're eligible. Okay. I would move that we approve the amended loan agreement. All in favor. Hi. Hi. Thanks, Cindy. It's a great, great thing for the folks in Elmar. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Eric. Good morning. Hey. So this is a request for the commission to approve the chair to sign an agreement with MRL to uh, install or improve the railroad crossing at the at Hool Creek Road. This is one of, I think, the last two that uh, currently have a timber crossing. So MRL has been 
working the past few years with us to upgrade all these crossings so that uh, we can reduce maintenance and make the travel for um, our maintenance equipment and the residents a little a little smoother a little more convenient so um, with this one uh, i think we'll be working on deer creek later this summer so this will get about all of our crossings as improved as they can get with concrete panels so it's a great process where we where we buy the concrete panels mrl does all of the work to install them and then we'll bring the road approach back into grade and we'll be done and walking away so we would recommend that uh, this agreement be signed so that mrl will order the panels and we can do the work this summer okay let's get it done before mrl goes away later this year yeah so, they've uh, been they've been making a push to uh, get some work done before bnsf takes over so we appreciate that effort on their their end too okay i move that we authorize the chair to sign uh, the agreement great all in favor aye, aye. Thanks thank you and that that will be coming via DocuSign probably tomorrow so uh i let annie know so that should be coming as soon as mrl sends it over thank you thank you thank you it does look like we have some correspondence yep i think jason emory is on hopefully to talk about that yep good morning um so this correspondence is just a letter to the federal government to request a dot gov uh, email domain for Missoula County. A um, little bit of history on that. So when I first started here, we were looking at a new email domain. So we used to have an old, very complex one. I looked into the .gov, you know, and at the time in 2014, probably they were unwilling to give any more of those out. So that wasn't an option. So of course we went with MissoulaCounty.us. Um, and then recently though, um, there's been a now a shift in that mentality and the feds would like all government entities in the United States to have a .gov email and domain registration, mostly around cybersecurity because it is tightly regulated and controlled. So in theory, it gives folks receiving messages from that some sense of security that it is coming from an actual government entity um, rather than spoofing. Obviously, there's ways around it. Um, so what this correspondence does is it has to be requested from the chair of the of the board um, and allow us to tie up that domain. So um, I don't know when or if we'll actually make use of it, but we'll at least own it. So if we you know, think strategically down the road that it makes sense to transition the county to a .gov uh, registration, then we have the ability to do it without having to jump through any you know, formal hoops at that point. Jason, uh, uh, it, it does not have anything necessarily to do with with the uh, letter that we'll be submitting, but in terms of government entities, does would this apply to, or, or is the request from the federal government that even uh, subdivisions of state government would uh, be .govs? And I, I'm thinking uh, specifically like about the rail authority, which is a governmental entity. Is, is this something that we should be thinking about also? Um, yep. Yep, it's my understanding that that all those political subdivisions would be um, eligible for this and and is recommended, at least with the current thought that it would be worth doing. So um, it certainly did, wouldn't hurt for the Big Sky Passenger Rail to apply. And, you know, they would, of course, make a determination if they thought that was appropriate and deny it or or approve it. But I, it certainly won't hurt. It doesn't cost anything. Um, there's really no administrative overhead with owning it. And, you know, if you just want to, like we're going to do, stick it in your back pocket, you know, for later use, then I think it's a good thing. Would you mind sending me whatever information uh, relates to this? Um, yep. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, there's a website, so I, I'll, I'll get you lined out. The .gov website? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I believe so. It should be anyway. <laughs> That'd be a little hypocritical, wouldn't it? <laughs> Jason, would this apply to our website URL at any point, or is it just email? Yeah, so if we, you know, we, I think there's a lot of discussions we need to have around it um, once we, you know, acquire the domain, you know, what strategically makes the most sense for Missoula County. But yes, I, I think if we transition to that, it would be kind of across the board deal that would become our, our new namespace for Missoula County uh, websites, um, email, that sort of thing. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I didn't see that coming. I didn't I did not either.
I thought if I didn't get it done, I'd forget about it and then have to scramble later. So oh, well, way to be on it. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Any any legislative anything you'd like to chat about? I don't have anything in particular. They're still in session. They're still so I hear. meeting. Yes. Okay. <laughs> They're still hanging out with each other. Okay. Martin, you have anything? Not for this Oh, okay. I was, I was wondering which item you were uh, enticed by here. So. Taxation. Uh, oh, so you need to chat with Dylan. Yeah, she's on her way. Ah, okay. 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 Great. Okay. All right. Then I do believe we are adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Goodbye. Thank you.